storm show. Ay, it's a storm show. This video was shared by 50 Cent, and then we're gonna actually listen to um, the phone call of Benzino allegedly being outed by transgender actress Shauna Brooks. Uh, let's let's just get to it. Okay, let's go back. Now, that's Shauna Brooks on the phone with him. Notice, right? She's going to leave a message after this where she says, I never intended to out anybody. My intent is never to out anyone, but my truth is always T. While it's painful to relive publicly, excuse me, I'm tired of men only loving girls like us behind closed doors and treating us as if we're disposable when it's no longer convenient. They want you to be their toy on their time. Ma'am, at the end of the day, if you didn't think there was anything wrong with being with you, there would have been nothing to out. It was hard to hear. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. But let's let's just let's let's just talk about how Benzino said he's an alpha male and this is new to him. Now, do y'all consider Benzino an alpha male? I'm just saying, this is why I don't like, excuse me, this is why I don't like all these people learning these words. Because y'all don't take the time to go learn what they mean and y'all just be using them incorrectly. Because an alpha male would not be getting kicked out of the red roof. An alpha male would not be waddling with his weekly, with his, I mean, that was a going away travel bag type of suitcase. Like when you gone for the loan, he would not have been waddling out of a red roof. You wasn't even waddling out of the intercontinental. You would not have been sharing a room that is $65 a night with another nigga. So y'all split that 30, 30, just saying, okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now. Let's go listen to the full actual video. You see the way he yelling at her? See, a lot of y'all, okay, first off, we need another video breaking down assertiveness and aggressiveness. A lot of people think that just because they yell loud and they talk loud, that they really run at something or saying something important and you really don't be talking about shit. Now, with that being said, she's recording this, which means she planned to leak this all along. But the question, as we're going to listen to this, that I want to pose to y'all, are we going to call trans women, women or not? Is it gay for a man to sleep like be attracted to a trans woman or no? Because in my opinion, if trans women want to be seen as trans women, simply don't out the dudes that y'all be with. And I'm going to tell you why. Outing him says that inherently you are different than a regular woman. If you, if you don't want to be with him, oh, you ain't going to tell people about me? Okay, cool. I'm done with you and just move on. Or don't be with a dude like that in the first place. I'm just, maybe I'm not quite communicating this in the most effective way. Oh, I'm talking different being in the living room. Oh, damn. This is a spur of education in this room. Damn. Acting like I actually have a master's degree. Okay. 
Do you get what I'm saying? Like for her to tape this and plan to release it later, you 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 don't even feel like a real woman, in my opinion. She do look a little bit like Althea. Now listen to what he said. The world ain't ready for this. I'm gonna back it up. He said his father would disown him. All right, so y'all got the point. I we we are not gonna stay on that too long, but my whole point is I want y'all to look at Benzino here. Hold on, hold on. Oh damn, it took it off. All right, I'm gonna put him on the side while I talk to y'all. All in all, in my opinion, Shauna planned to do this the whole time. Okay, now to give Shauna credit to give the girls G W O R L S. To give them credit, I understand where she's coming from when she says, look, I don't want to be in a closet no more. Okay, it's 2022. Like, nobody cares. And literally, nobody cares. However, for her to, to record them, for her to plan this, for her to leak this, she somewhere deep down inside of her body and all the silicone that runs through it. And the silicone that runs through it shows that she doesn't even feel like a full woman. Now, I'm going to need the congregation to come together and just decide once and for all, either these are going to be cons the, these women. I don't want to say these people. I don't want to be whatever. Either they're going to be considered women or not. Just let me know. Or is there just going to be that third level where trans is just trans and it don't make you gay or straight to be with them. You just like trans. You're trans attracted which is a whole nother conversation. The shit gets deep, but I'm finna send a link out for you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, this is what I want to talk about, too, before we move on, but we'll go in deeper details on Patreon. Listen, I feel like this is a humiliation ritual. There is no reason why Benzino should be trending as much as he is. He is not that important. There's no reason why this is coming out now, right? All these old videos, okay? Either he is trying to get back in the industry or this is keeping Koi in the industry. And if we see her star continue to rise, I believe that he's being sacrificed. Not in the literal, like, physical sense, but his image, his name. He don't have a brand. But his persona is being slaughtered out here. If you think that media outlets are not being paid to cover this, they are. There are people that do that. Don't none come out for nothing. When stuff goes viral, sometimes it's organic. Sorry to bust your bubble. A lot of times it's planned and paid for. Payola is a real fucking thing. But I almost think that Koi knew what she would have to do in this industry. She then said, you know what? Publicly, I'm going to denounce my father whether I really mess with him or not. It don't matter. Publicly, I'm going to say he ain't shit. I'm going to separate myself so we don't even seem like we that close. So... I ain't got to have him off. Okay, cool. He going to be embarrassed and humiliated. Cool. Soon as you get into this industry, everybody's always keeping receipts on you. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody is. Anybody you befriend, I'm just letting you know, anybody that you befriend in this industry is always gathering info on you. Roseanne told me that. She said, how you think this person get caught up in this? It, it don't be... It don't be the FBI, don't be the police, it'd be another entertainer. 
It's like, look, if I give you him, will you stay off my ass on what I'm doing? And they do that. That's what they do. That's what it is. So ain't no friends in this industry and don't tell nobody nothing that you don't mind coming out. And and I've always kept that in my head, even and I ain't in the industry, but just put my pinky toe in it. I've always kept it in my head. Don't tell nobody nothing that you don't mind coming out on camera because you can't trust none of these people. At all. This is what it is. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and put this link in. So y'all uh, invite. I think that's right. Yeah. Put this link in the chat. I'm going to give y'all a little time to make some comments. And then we're going to call it a night. Let me pin this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me pin the link. All right. The link is pinned. So I'm going to just take y'all uh, y'all comments in the meantime. What was said in the audio? I know it was hard to hear, but he was saying that his father would disown him. He would be disowned if this came out. He said that this is all new to him. Speaking of being, it sounds like speaking of being with a trans, it's all new to him. So he just, he's experiencing a lot of things, which I actually disagree with. I think being open and out would be new for him, but I don't believe you get to be 50 something years old and now you're just starting to experiment with your sexuality, especially being in the industry. I don't believe that. So some questions to ponder before you guys come up. Thank, uh, thank you, George. Appreciate it. Will you date a man who has ever been with a trans woman or who is trans attracted? Does that make him gay or bi? Come on now. I need y'all to come up here and talk about it and give y'all a little time. If y'all don't want to come up tonight, I can call it a night. Or if something else is on your mind, feel free to come up too. Steph said, why protect DL men? It's sick. Good point. Because he does also sleep with women, I'm assuming. Yes. They said no, no, can't do it. Never. So what, somebody said no in, yes. I still don't know why she out of him knowing he wasn't ready because I believe she got paid to do that shit. That's just what, that's just what I believe. I don't want to date a man if he's attracted to men. Okay, so you still consider a trans woman a man. Listen, I'm playing neutral. I just want to know what y'all think because we got to come to some sort of conclusion because we all circling around the topic and don't nobody want to like Just say it. Just say that's a damn man and I think he gay. Just say it. Uh. It's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.